Hi, Bahar. Hi, Kinda. Thanks for joining today. I changed the time today just because uh, I'm teaching the injuries course tomorrow, so I thought I'd do the class on Saturday instead. And I'll save this on Instagram TV as usual so that you've got um, all the different lobes on there. I'll just wait another 30 seconds or so and then I'll start. Hi, Alina. Hi, Zanette. Hope you're all doing well. Last week the connection wasn't so great, so if, uh, if anything happens, I think it was my AirPods though, so I think today should be good. Just let me know in comments and I'll, and I'll come and check in the middle. Hi Dahlia. Thank you so much everybody for coming on. And we'll start just in a few uh, seconds. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Sharifa. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So um, today's class is themed towards our vestibular system. And deep, deep in our inner ear, just next to our cerebellum, lies our vestibular set of canals. We have um, one, one pair, one set on our right side and one set on our left side. And this system is responsible for telling your brain which way is up and which way you're going. So it has a, it's a huge contributor towards posture, balance, uh, everything basically that keeps you upright against gravity. Um, and a lot of you who say get a lot of motion sickness or are very sensitive to things that can get vertigo a lot, then uh, take it easy on this class and really notice how you feel as you're doing the exercises. So really notice, is this making you feel energized and well, or is this making you feel a little bit motion sick? And if it is, just take a few moments to just um, reset and breathe until you feel less dizzy. There's a lot of spinning, bouncing, rolling motions. It is a strong class, so if you were hoping for a gentle workout, this isn't the one. Um, let's, let's go ahead and start and take it easy if you need to and just listen to your body. So we're going to start with a neuro um, exercise, a neurological exercise that targets this specific, specific part of the brain. So if you go ahead and take your thumb out in front of you and stare at your thumb, and then turn your head from side to side, checking to see if your thumb remains clear or does it go blurry as you turn your head one way or the other. So we're just starting with that. Now go ahead and do some circles with your head, keeping your eyes locked on your thumb. Or actually you can, you can switch targets. Can you look at the birdhouse behind me? Stare at the birdhouse and just start to, oh, it's moving. <laughs> I didn't realize they were on. Just start to circle your head while keeping your eyes locked on the birdhouse or any target in front of you. It doesn't have to be that. And then change direction. And what you're doing is stimulating the fluids in the, in the vestibular canals and training your head and eyes to tell the brain different messages so that the, the brain becomes less sensitive to this sort of mismatch of information and can really help for those of you who often get motion sick. Okay, come back to center. Stand nice and tall now on your mat and just take a roll down to see how your spine feels today. So drop your chin to your chest. Roll down vertebra by vertebra. Soften your knees a little if you need to. Let your head really hang. Breathe in to stay at the bottom, and then breathe out, roll up, pressing down into your feet, restack your spine, roll all the way back up again. And we're just gonna do a little bit of bouncing here. So just soften your knees, relax, let your body feel like spaghetti, and just bounce. And the, the vestibular system doesn't just tell your brain when you're spinning or when you're turning or when you're moving forward. It also tells your brain when you're doing vertical bounce or jump like this. We've got these little otolith organs that live right next to the canals that tell your brain when what you're doing is any vertical motion. 
And now close your eyes as you do this. If you're feeling more energetic, of course, you can turn it into a full sort of cardio warm up to a proper jump if you like. Focus on long exhalations though if you're doing this. And then stop. And then just check your roll down again and compare how your range of motion feels. And then roll back up again. Take your arms out to the side and start spinning left shoulder back. We're gonna spin three times with our eyes open. Three spins. After you've done three spins, take a moment, notice how you feel. You may feel a little dizzy, that's perfectly normal. Roll down, check how your range of motion feels. And just notice with no judgment, with no expectation. Take it spinning the opposite direction now. Just notice if your range of motion improves or decreases or stays the same. It's kind of like you're trying to communicate with your nervous system to see whether you're getting a parasympathetic response or a sympathetic response or a zero response. Roll down again to compare which direction felt better and then roll back up again, lovely. Now go ahead and stand at the back of your mat and we're going to roll down, walk to all fours position and then roll back up again to standing but we're gonna do it with our eyes closed, okay? So with your eyes closed, roll down like you're peeling your spine off a wall behind you. Bend your knees and crawl out to an all fours position. Walk back, curl your toes, stretch and roll up all the way up. And then roll down again, eyes closed. If you're feeling more energetic, take it to a plank. I don't know what you've been doing today, whether you're already warmed up or not. Walk back to your feet, stretch down, roll up. And we're gonna put all of these drills together. So first thing we're gonna do is take our thumb out or look at a target in front of you. If you're looking at the, the phone, you can look at the birdhouse or whatever is in front of you and start to circle your head three times one way, three times the opposite way. Two, three. Now bounce or jump for 10 counts, focusing on longer exhalations. Let your arms and body feel a bit like spaghetti here. Just loose. Take your arms out to the side, spin three times left shoulder back. You can do it with eyes closed. You can do it a lot slower than what I'm spinning. Take a moment after you've done three. Take your arms out to the side again and spin the opposite way three times. Eyes open or eyes closed for a more advanced variation. Now close your eyes for sure, roll down, walk out either to all fours or to plank, depending on your energy. And then walk back, roll up. We're gonna roll down again to our plank and hold it this time. Or leg pull front position, hold. Lengthen through the crown of the head, keep your eyes open now. Shoulders well away from the ears. We're gonna come down as usual to transition. We're gonna come down into 10 slow counts. So try and land very gracefully on the floor. Ready? We're coming down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Softly land, nine, 10, and relax. While you're down here, just wiggle your bottom side to side, relax. This, uh, rest your head on your hands, wiggle your bottom side to side. This should feel nice on your lower back to loosen up any tension you have there. Bend your knees and windshield wipe side to side as well. This should also loosen up your lower back. And then we're going to just do some baby looks to, to mobilize our thoracic spine. So in this class, there is gonna be a lot of head rotations uh, because that stimulates your vestibular system quite a bit. So take your arms just outside your mat and have your legs hip distance apart or lengthen them and you're going to slide across the mat to look over your shoulder and see if you can see, if you're going to the right, see if you can see your right foot. 
slide across the mat and see if you can see your left foot. And it's okay for the elbow to come off the, uh, the floor on the opposite side. So as you go to the right, think of your right shoulder blade sliding down into your left back pocket. And then as you go to the left, think of your left shoulder blade sliding down into your right back pocket. So you're combining spine lateral flexion and extension and rotation. And see if you can see your foot. Inhale as you come up. It's a nice mobilization for the thoracic spine. And now let's mobilize the lower part, lumbar and more pelvic hip area. Take your right hand underneath your right shoulder and left arm extends out to the side. Push into your right hand, open up your hip and reach your right foot towards your left hand as you look up towards the ceiling. And then slowly come back down again and switch arms. Left hand comes underneath the left shoulder, right arm out to the side and reach your left foot towards your right hand and then slowly come back down. Let's go one more time on each side. Inhale on these rotations. Exhale as you come down. Inhale to rotate. And then exhale to come down. And now give it a little bit of a push off. Sorry. Uh, uh, as you come up, I did it wrong. So we're going to push and take the right foot towards the right, towards the left hand. And then when you come down, you're going to push to the opposite side. So really push with your left hand as you go. And then come up to a Z position and rotate, and then come down. So what I'd like you to try now, I'll do it one more time. We're gonna push with both hands off the floor, and then take a Z position like this, which is your 1990, and swing your arms to the side, and dynamically come back to the floor like this. And then we're gonna do the same on the other side. Push, you really use your arms, twist, and then come back down to the floor. So in vestibular classes, we wanna constantly challenge the two questions, where am I going and which way is up? The two questions, it answers to the brain. And then after a while of doing these, close your eyes to heighten this, this system. Because if you remove your most dominant sense, which is your vision, your vestibular system is going to have to communicate a little bit more sharply. Try and pick up the speed a little bit, let it flow. And one more time on each side. And you're mobilizing your thoracic spine, your hips as well as getting your vestibular system really working. And then stay down and inhale, extend up into a swan. Exhale to lengthen, lengthen. How high you come up depends on you. Inhale, push into your hands, tip your elbows towards the floor, lengthen through the crown of the head as you lift, and then exhale to lengthen, lengthen, lengthen forward. Inhale, extend, and then exhale to lengthen. Place your ribs further forward each time you come down so you really feel like you're creating traction or space. Don't feel like you need to stretch your elbows here. And think about lifting your hip bones off the floor so you're not compressing into your lower back but thinking of this nice long line. Stay up here now and memorize how, try and picture what your shape looks like in terms of the boat that you've created with your spine. And now, as you come down, you're gonna energize your right leg a lot and your right glute, and lift it to go to that side, to the opposite side. And then bring it down again and tip up on your inhale. And as you come down, energize the left leg and lift it to twist to the opposite side. You don't have to bend the knee, actually. Let's keep it straight. Inhale, we come up. Exhale, we come down. Lift your right leg, rotate, opening the hip. And then we extend up. And then as we exhale, we rotate. Now to keep in line with the theme of the class, we're gonna rotate fully to teaser. We've done this in a few classes before, so some of you are familiar with it. Inhale to extend up. Now exhale, lift your right leg up, 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 up. Keep it up, sit on your right bottom, and reach to a single leg teaser. And then we're gonna place the hands on the floor again, 
keep the leg lifted, slowly take it down, extend up, and then as you exhale, lift your left leg, rotate, pushing off with your hands to come to here. And then slowly lift the leg, come back down. Keep the extension throughout, and here come into a very flexed position. So we go down, lift the leg, up, and just let your breath flow here. And when you feel ready, you can try to do it with eyes closed. Oh, sorry, I keep forgetting to extend in the middle, lift and rotate. Come back down, keep the leg lifted, extend, create space, no wrinkles in the back of the neck, lift. Last time on each side, keep the leg lifted, arc, Extend, push back into a child's pose, and rest. Take a few breaths here into the back and sides of your rib cage. And one of the exercises that's supposed to really help people with vertigo or any spinning dizziness issues is to kind of pretend you're in a headstand, but don't let your head touch the floor. So bend your elbows. Come into this sort of round spine shape position. Hover your head above the ground and then very slowly turn your head from one side to the other with your eyes closed. Very Let your head really just hang heavy and turn your head one side and then slowly turn your head the opposite side. And if you want to, you could do it in, in a down dog position, just letting your head hang like this, just letting your head rotate from one side to the other with the eyes closed. And then relax. And swing your legs around to the front of the mat. And we're going to go ahead and lay down on our back. So we're gonna work our core very directly now, but we're also gonna try and stimulate our vestibular system quite a bit by incorporating the VOR or the vestibular ocular reflex exercise which we did at the very beginning of the class with it. So go ahead and stare at something on the ceiling while you're lying down. Pick a point to stare at. Hopefully there's a smoke detector or something you can look at. Keep your eyes locked on that target and turn your head one way. Keeping your eyes go only as far as you can still see the target and then turn your head the opposite way. And then again, turn your head one way and then turn your head the opposite way. And then go ahead and lift your legs up to tabletop, keeping your spine neutral if possible, but take an imprint if you need to. And then while you're here, just notice how lifting the legs has changed the position of your spine, if at all, and try and keep the spine still the same. And as you exhale, you're gonna extend your right leg away and only go as low as you're able to keep the spine position in the exact same neutral place. And then inhale, return. Almost as you extend your leg away, almost imagine your organs have gotten heavier and they're sinking in towards the ground, allowing your spine not to arch. And when you're ready, we're going to integrate the, the head and eye movements with the one leg stretch. So, as you stretch your right leg away, turn your head to the right, keeping your eyes on the target. Inhale, come back to center. And as you stretch your left leg away, do the same. Reach, and then come back to center. So, right leg reaches, rotate, and then come back to center. Make sure your spine stays neutral. If you're feeling it in your lower back, just uh, take an imprint position or lift your leg higher. And now go reciprocal. Stretch your right leg, then your left. Turn your head from one side directly to the other, keeping your eyes locked on the target. Should be much easier for you. For me, the sun's in my eyes, so it's very challenging, actually, to keep target on this leaf. I'm looking at a leaf right now. One more on each side. And relax. Well done. Okay, from here, we're going to just Take your hands behind, take the legs down actually, take your hands behind the head, shuffle back a little bit, 
and then curl up with your head and shoulders on the exhalation and as you inhale lengthen back down again so really lead with the exhalation first and feel like you're curling up as a result of your exhalation and almost have your neck muscles completely switched off so really let the head hang heavy in your hands and feel like the exhalation is just lifting this entire head and shoulder structure. And really notice how you're lengthening the back line of the body rather than just shortening the front. You can do a few with the eyes closed. Feel a gentle hollowing in your abdomen from the exhalation. And now as we curl up, we're gonna lift our right leg to tabletop and twist opposite elbow towards opposite knee. So see how close you can get your left elbow to your right knee while keeping your elbows wide open. So remember your elbows are gonna remain wide open and then see how close you can get your left elbow to your right knee. So the rotation's really happening from your rib cage. And then rest and then see the opposite side. How close can you get your right elbow to your left knee while keeping your elbows wide open. And then slowly come back down. And again, rotate. Think of your left chest moving towards your right hip bone. And then think of your right chest moving towards your left hip bone. So the rotation's really coming from your rib cage. And the bottom should feel grounded, like it's not turning as well. And now let's put it all together, going into our crisscross. Lift the legs up, twist opposite elbow towards opposite knee and go straight to the opposite side. And really feel the upper body, lower body differentiation here. The upper body is rotating, the lower body should feel grounded. Twist with the whole rib cage. And now we're gonna close our eyes and notice how we feel when we do this, with eyes closed. Do you feel like you can focus more? Do you feel the fatigue come quicker? And we're gonna go for another five. Five. And exhale for most of this exercise. Four. Avoid the elbow closing in. Keep the elbows wide. Three. And two. And exhale. One. And relax. Rest. Well done. Give your abdominals a little bit of a rest. And we're going to warm up for teaser because there's a teaser variation coming up. So extend your right leg out and then reach your arms overhead. And you're gonna circle the arms round to look towards your pubic bone, exhaling for most of this. Here, roll up as if you're gonna reach towards your right toes and then roll back down again, taking the arms overhead. Now, some of you may feel like you get stuck around here because your lower back doesn't bend. Uh, you've got a whole chunk of vertebra that you've got to lift. Feel free to put a pillow and grab the back of your thighs. Put a pillow here and grab the back of your thighs. It'll make it a lot easier. And then roll down and then reach. Let's do another third one on this leg and then we'll switch. Lift up and then slowly roll down, take the arms overhead, switch legs. Reach your left leg long, 45 degree. Circle to lift towards your pubic bone. Reach up high, like you're gonna touch your toe, and then roll down. Trying to sequentially articulate through your spine as you come down, so you don't come down in one block. And then the last one. And roll down, awesome. Bend your knees, grab the back of your thighs, curl up with your head and shoulders, squeeze your legs together and start to roll, making yourself as round as possible. Hopefully you've got a thick mat and not a thin one, because if you've got a thin one, you're gonna hate what's coming next. <laughs> so, rolling. And we're gonna do some rolling variations. In vestibular classes, we always do rolling. I feel I'm a little bit close, so I'm just gonna move my mat slightly further away so you can see the whole exercise. All right, so let's start with rolling like a ball, just the exercise on its own, and then we're gonna add some variations. So while you're here, sit just back off your sitting bones, 
lift your legs up and have them slightly, slightly open in a small V. And you're gonna squeeze your elbows to your knees and your knees to your elbows. Stay as round as you can and you're gonna roll down to your shoulder blades and then come back up again. If you feel like this is too much, just grab the back of your thighs. But having the elbows to your knees forces you to stay locked in this position and actually makes you feel that, yeah, this is a core exercise. And when you come up, balance just back off your sitting bones. So we're rolling back. So you're parking just behind your sitting bones. Let's do two more like this. Keep your eye line down. Okay, awesome. If you're slamming into the mat, please just do slow roll downs and roll ups like this, grabbing the backs of your thighs and using your legs to come up. And you can even keep the pillow there. So now we're gonna make it a little bit more dynamic. So we're gonna try rolling like a ball. Let's just keep our hands now here uh, by the sides of the legs. We're gonna roll as round as you can and then open to a V stretch and reach forward. Let's do five of those, two and reach as round as you can and then as flat as you can three or this is number four five awesome next variation then we're going to put it together in a game yeah next variation is going to be rolling jackknife where you're shooting your legs up towards the ceiling and throwing your arms overhead or placing them down on the mat like this and then come up into a balanced position here. So we're either gonna go like this, or we're gonna push down into the floor if we need to. Yeah, that's uh, variation number two. Let's do that five times, ready? And one, squeeze your glutes at the top to really help bring your legs a bit more vertical to make this dynamic. Three, four, stay really round when you come up, five and relax. The next variation, we're gonna come up to standing. So you can either, when you roll back and you come back up, push the floor, open the knees to allow you to stand, and then you come back down and roll. And that's obviously uh, dependent on if your knees are okay with that. If your knees are not okay with that, or if you feel the hips are too tight or your femurs are too long, then just roll back come forward push off the floor try and just use enough momentum to lift your bottom off the floor um, and that's that's fine to do just that variation if you want to work a little bit stronger and you're comfortable with this then keep your arms in front of you as you stand up ready for five and one you can close your eyes to challenge your vestibular system more two Three, four, and five. And relax. Lay on your back. Let's put it all together. So stare at the ceiling. Turn your head. One, two. Keep your eyes on the target. Three, four. Lift your legs to tabletop and reach with the leg. Right leg reaches. One. Turn your head to the right as you reach. Left two. We're putting everything that we did together in one flow. Three, four. Hands behind the head, curl up. One, exhale. Two, eyes closed here if you like. Three, keep a gap underneath your chin. Four, and then lift the leg to tabletop. One, exhale. Two, remember to keep your elbows wide open here. Three, four, crisscross full, one, and two, and keep the elbows wide open, turn with your rib cage, four, feel grounded with the bottom, five, and reach your right leg long, left leg bends, teaser prep, circle the arms round and lift, and then roll down, two, Remember here, if you feel stuck, just grab the back of your thighs to lift you. And last one, four, switch legs, reach, exhale or inhale on the top, and then exhale to roll down. Try not to have any speed bumps, 
as you're coming up. If you are kind of jolting yourself up, you definitely need to put the pillow behind your lower back. And remember that most of the time when people struggle to come up, it's not because they're weak, it's because their lumbar spine is not so mobile in flexion. From here, we're gonna roll back, roll. Let's do this one first four times. Two, elbows to knees, stick them together. Three, and four. Grab the back of your thighs, roll back. One, and V stretch. Two, three, try not to land on your head as you roll back. Four, just to your shoulder blades. And jackknife now, we reach one and two. You can close your eyes for more challenge. Remember on your vestibular system, three. Oh, I've just done V-stretch. <laughs> Four, you can combine them, absolutely. And then rolling back to standing, one. You, can, you don't have to stand, remember, you could just try and get the bottom push off like this, two, three, and four. And relax and stay down, awesome, well done. Okay, we're gonna turn to our mat sideways. How are you feeling? Are you feeling um, dizzy or okay with all that? You probably noticed your heart rate's a little higher if you were doing the full-on standing. And that's okay. Try and settle your heart rate as quick as possible by just convincing your nervous system that this was super, super calm exercise and easy. And we're going to roll a little bit. There's a lot of movements in fitness that are very linear and just adding a little bit of transverse plane stuff, a little bit of rolling can really benefit our, uh, our vestibular systems. It's like you're trying to convince your brain you're younger than you are with all these exercises. So let's go ahead and lay on our back sideways and take the arms overhead. And using only your legs now, I'd like you to just find a way, there's no specific way, but find a way to roll to the end of the mat. So I'm just gonna bring my leg across and lazily roll across on my tummy and then use my legs to lay on my back. And then do it the opposite way. Just leading with your legs. Okay, now we're gonna lead with our arms. So lead the rotation with your arms. You may need to push off, just figure out your way of doing it. There's no specific way. And let the, arm, the legs feel like they're just coming along for the ride. Eyes could be closed. And now we're gonna really try and do this with our core. And this is where it gets a little bit advanced. So if you feel like it's too much, then you definitely need to just continue what we were doing. And if you feel like your mat is just too thin, then put a towel on top if you need to. So we're going to take our 100 position here. So really round your lower back and check if you're able to lift your legs where your lower back is really flattened into the floor like this. So just see if you're able to take this position for five, four, three, two, one. Now keeping your, let me stay sideways actually. Keeping your eyes on your pubic bone, see if you're able to take your arms by your ears here in the hollow hold position. Stay as flexed as possible, really keeping your sternum and your pubic bone coming very close together. For one, two, three, four, five, and relax. And really feel like your organs get very heavy here and a deep exhalation so you're not doming. Now what I'm gonna start with is the modification first and then you can, you can do the progression. So the modification is, we're gonna take our banana position again. So reach, as, uh, grab the backs of your thighs, curl up as high as you can with your head and shoulders so your neck is free and then bring your arms by your ears, keeping your eyes on your pubic bone. Using your center, see if you can roll to the right side, and then using your center, see if you can come back. Using your center, roll to the opposite side, and then using your center, see if you can come back. So you can absolutely just keep doing that. 
Keep going if you started with that. And if you want to try the more advanced version, take your banana position like we were across, and then using a little bit of speed, we're going to come back to a fast roll here, and then maybe lift to teaser, come back, back to down, uh, double leg stretch position, roll, and then lift. So we do one teaser, roll, another teaser, roll. This is obviously quite advanced and very dependent on structure. So see how you go and take the option that suits you. Ready? And roll. Lift, lower. Roll. Lift, lower. Roll. Lift, lower. Roll. <laughs> and after a while you do feel a bit like a hippo <laughs> but um, I feel like because a lot of us depending on how our rib cage is structured you sometimes feel like you're rolling very smoothly and for others it feels like you're just kind of flopping down I certainly feel like I flop down a lot I'm gonna use the excuse that my ribs are quite flat but it could be a million different reasons so let's go back and just do a little bit more rotation now towards the end of the class so we're going to sit back and we're going to try and do a teaser position again. So we're sitting just back off our sit bones, our breastbone is lifted and we're going to lift our legs up and if your hamstrings are tight, keep them bent, there's no problem, they don't have to be straight at all. And then from here, we're going to gracefully cross the legs over and place them down. Okay? I'm building this up. Come back to cross, to teaser and then cross the legs down like this as they come down. Now we go up, and as they cross, we're going to place our hands behind us as if we're going to turn. Come back to teaser, cross the ankles, rotate as far as you can the opposite way. And then again, teaser, cross your ankles, rotate. Teaser, and rotate. What this is building up to is teaser, cross, place the hands down, lift to downward dog, and sit the opposite way, come back to teaser with the legs crossed, place them down, rotate back to downward dog. Notice how here the feet are parallel and when you sit down they cross over naturally and then stretch, bend, rotate, up, down. Here just let the breath flow naturally, exhaling for most of this. You're always going to push off one hand more than the other. So as you rotate, my right hand now is going to push more into the floor to lift my right bottom and then rotate. Start to add eyes closed if you can. Let's do another two on each side. Keep the breastbone lifted when you do teaser. This is all coming from your center. Okay, we're gonna put it all together, all right? So, I'm going to skip the rolling teaser one because that's like its own set on its own. I'm gonna do the modification and add this to it. So let's go ahead and lie down on our back. Grab the back of your thighs. This will be a nice flow. Reach to your 100 position and when you're ready, Reach your arms long, take them by the ears. Go for five, four, three, two, one. Rotate using your center. Try and roll to your side. Five, four, three, two, one. Using your center, roll back to center. Back to this double leg stretch position where the organs feel heavy, and then roll to the other side. Five, four, three, two, one. Come back to center. Let me add one. Grab the back of your thighs and then go ahead and scissor your legs. Take the left leg forward and then as you come down, rotate to the side scissoring and then as you come up, scissor again, scissor and then rotate. And then again, two scissors in the middle. One, because we didn't do scissors today. Two and then rotate to the side. One arm goes up, one arm goes by the ear. And then again, one, two, scissor. And then again, one, two. And the idea is to really feel like your center is controlling all the movements. This is particularly flowy if you have a very short trunk to leg length. 
you'll feel like you can really move from your center with the limbs just following. One more on each side. And then grab the back of your thighs, roll up to an assisted teaser position, stretch your legs, hold for five, four, three, two, one. Cross the ankles, rotate. One, sit, stretch, bend, lift, sit, stretch, bend, lift, and relax. Rest. Well done, everyone. Okay, so what we're going to do now is just finish with a little bit of uh, leg work that we're going to do together and then we're going to finish with some balance exercises. So while we're here, we're going to take our quadruped position. Actually, this leads into the leg work, but it's, uh, it's not, it, this is full body, this bit. Take your hands directly underneath your shoulders and your knees directly underneath your hips. And when you're ready, just hover your knees above the ground like this and lengthen the crown of the head forward. Hold for five in that position, just hovering. Four, three, let me just move you back a bit so you can see. Two, one. Okay, so from here, I'm going to thread my right leg through as I rotate to my back in this position to like a crab. And then I'm gonna thread my left leg underneath to come into all fours like this. And then I thread my right leg underneath to come into this position. And I thread my left leg underneath to come into that position. So I'm rotating and spinning around the spot. I find these a little hard to describe without seeing people in front of me. But you get the idea, hopefully. Thread through and plant it. Thread through and plant it. And now start to go in the opposite direction. You can move very slowly. But again, it's all this idea of spinning and rolling, which stimulates the vestibular fluids in the inner ear, keeps them young. And then when you reach your last one, take, walk out to your plank position or leg pull front, and then walk your hands towards your feet and roll up to standing. And when you reach standing, go ahead and step forward with a right lunge, keeping your back really straight, and then push off to come back. Step forward to the left lunge, push off to come back. And really push off the front leg to spring you all the way back up to standing. Left leg, push off, bring you back to standing. Make your foot very light when it lands. Now we're gonna stare at a point in front of us. Right lunge forward, rotate your head for one, two, keeping your eyes locked on a target in front of you, four, come back to center, push back. Left leg, lunge, rotate one, two, three, four, come back to center and push back. Get it? Then after that sequence, because again, we're going to put it all together at the end, we're going to right leg forward, push off, reverse lunge, push off, reverse forward. And as you're doing this, you're going to rotate your head to one side and then to the other side, keeping your eyes locked on the target in front of you. Four in each leg. Last one. And then change. Left leg now is gonna go forward and then back. Just do two without the head motions just to find your balance. And then rotate your head. And notice how that affects your balance when you rotate your head and relax. We're gonna put it all together. We're gonna to roll down, do four under switches in each direction, then roll back up again. I'll talk you through it. Inhale to prepare at the top. Exhale, roll down. Walk out to a quadruped position with your knees hovering above the ground. 
and then take the leg from underneath. One, two, three, four. Change direction. One, two, three, four. Walk out to plank. Walk your hands towards your feet gracefully. Allow your head to hang down. Roll up. Step forward with your right lunge. Turn your head. One, two, three, four. Come back to center. Push directly to reverse lunge. One, two, and then add the head rotations. One, two. Eyes remain on the target in front of you. Three, four. Left lunge goes forward. Hold. Rotate your head. One, two, three, four. Come back to center. Push back all the way to reverse lunge, all the way to forward lunge, and then add the head rotations. One, two, head rotations, but eyes locked on the target in front of you. Three, four, relax, roll down, child's pose, and rest. Well done. Breathe. Okay, before we come up to finish with balance, we're just going to do a little bit of a thoracic mobilization to loosen up your spine. It feels really good to be sitting on your heels if your knees are okay with it, to do cat and cow here. So as you exhale, flex, and then inhale, extend and lift your breastbone. Breathe out, push into the floor around your spine, and then breathe in, lift your chest and breastbone. If you feel like this is uncomfortable for your knees, just do the regular cat-cow. And you'll feel it more targeted here in the mid-back. You can take your right elbow down, rotate towards the ceiling. And again, if this is uncomfortable, just do it this way on all fours. So choose the variation that feels nicer for your mid-back. Inhale as you rotate, pushing the elbow into the floor, and then switch sides. Push your left elbow into the floor as you rotate to the right. Three times. Crouch now on your balls of the feet. So balance here. Try and let go of your uh, floor if you, if you can. This only works if your knees are okay with deep knee flexion. If they're not, balance on your tiptoes standing, please. And then take your arms out in front of you and try and challenge your balance by doing very fast arm circles. Remember, you don't have to be here. You could be standing on your tiptoes. So we're going to go four arm circles in each direction fast. One, two, make them sharp like turbulence trying to knock you off. Three, four, <laughs> change direction. Keep your eyes really focused on one spot. One, two, three, four, and relax. Now we go. One, two, three, shoot up, pushing your feet into the floor and down again. Ready? Circling again. One, two, three, shoot up and then down. Two more if possible. One, two. If you're doing the standing, just do a mini squat. Lift and then mini squat. One, two, three, push off and relax. Roll down now. Just check how your spine feels compared to the beginning of class. Hang your head heavy. Stretch your right leg, bend your left, and rotate to the right, looking at your right arm. And then stretch your left leg, bend your right, rotate towards the straight leg. Come back to center. Slowly roll up. Take one foot in front of the others if you're standing on a tightrope. Cross your arms over your chest. Close your eyes. Try and balance here for a few seconds. If you wanna challenge yourself, rotate your head. And this is where you really feel what the vestibular system is. When you rotate your head, or when you tilt your head, or when you move your head in different directions, especially if you do it fast, you, you can do extension and flexion. Then you feel just how much contribution these vestibular fluids give to our balance neurologically.
And if you want to improve your balance, definitely training more with eyes closed in different head positions can really help. Change, take the other foot in front. First, just close your eyes by removing your most dominant sense, which is your vision. And you're left with the proprioception coming from your feet. Really imagine you have big feet. And then rotate your head slowly to start with, gradually increasing the speed as you, as you get more comfortable. And play around with different head positions because that will stimulate different canals in your inner ear. And it's okay to feel like you're getting knocked off. It's okay to have the arms out to the side. And relax. And then just do this over, over uh, the, the, that last test that we did. You can do it and just check if you're improving or not as you keep doing more and more uh, of the head and eye balance challenges. So just training any balance with your eyes closed and head rotations will improve this test a lot. Just to finish, we're going to, as always, finish with a neuro exercise. So go ahead and take your thumb out in front. Turn your head from one side to the other like we did in the beginning. And I just want you to notice, is your thumb more clear now? Or the birdhouse, if you were looking at the birdhouse. Does it go blurry or is it okay? Keep your head still. Move your thumb now in a circle with only your eyes tracking and your head stays completely still. Notice the difference. First we were moving the head with eyes locked, now we're moving the eyes with the head locked. So we're training our brain to disassociate these two senses from each other and finish with a very calming exercise where you synchronize your senses. The head, the eyes and the thumb are all going to move as one robotic unit. It's like you're synchronizing your senses and then move up and down, everything traveling as one unit. And relax. And just take a moment to notice how you feel. So I know for a lot of you, this class would have felt a little too dizzy, a little too much, especially if you're somewhere as hot as, as I feel right now, I'm really sweating. But if you, uh, for a lot of you, it will make you feel very energized and awake. So really pay attention to your nervous system and your, your feedback of your body. How do you feel right now? Do you feel energized and awake and kind of alive? Or do you feel a little too dizzy? In which case, you definitely still need to work on your vestibular system, but at a smaller dosage. This is a, a pretty uh, intense one. So I hope you enjoyed the class and I'll see you next week hopefully. Take care everyone. Bye. Have a lovely rest of the day.